And speaking of which, that brings us to our headliner tonight from the semi-pro class. A uh, very funny guy uh, who we all have grown to love. Uh, he is the host of the Father Daughter Dance Podcast. And uh, he will also be the star of the one-man show of the same name. Uh, coming up here uh, on November 11th and 12th at Piano Foot, which is a great venue downtown. Uh, so let's uh, plan on being there. I'll be there, won't you? Uh, you know, you love him. He's hilarious. Please welcome the very funny Tim Taylor. Keep it going for Joseph. He's funny, isn't he? He's funny. I think he was the origin of uh, describing sex as sleeping with someone. <laughs> Come on, Joseph. Come on, Joseph. We had an interesting string of comics tonight, haven't we? Just be like the, the weird uh, analysis of Jaws and that really thick Indian accent. You know what I'm saying? A Muslim who looks like he's a wrestler in like a low end wrestling group. You know, a guy who I thought was going to die on stage, like literally, didn't you? Marina's pants. I actually was going to wear those pants, but I was afraid I was going to show my camel hump. Oh! That's good mutton. <laughs> What's your name again? I forget. Betty? My name's Becky. Becky, hi. Hi. I noticed you slammed the Manhattan when they introduced me. Like, oh God, this guy. <laughs> And what's your name, sir? I'm Adam. Uh, wow, you guys are very, you guys just go to like a Tony Robbins class? I'm Becky. I'm Adam. <laughs> Power pose. I love it. Are you guys uh, a couple? We're married. We're married. We're married. <laughs> hey. All right, how long have we been married? Three years. Three years. All right. All right. So where, where are you from? Here. Yeah, you guys want to go up and have drinks? Fuck the rest of these people. Let's just talk. And, uh, <laughs> Well, Becky and Adam, uh, I as, as in celebrating summer, I recently uh, shaved off my pubic hair. <laughs> yeah, Adam. Adam is. The problem is, I put on some weight in the pandemic, so now when I look down between my legs, I see the upside down jowly chin of Mitch McConnell. <laughs> It's like, it's fucking terrible. I'm like, I gotta deal with it. It's like every time I look down between my legs, like, I've gotten more votes from the great people of Kentucky than any senator in history. <laughs> Mitch McConnell between my legs and my pubis. Yeah, come on. Let's wrap it in. So, um, you know, the thing is, I, I looked at myself in the uh, mirror with my shirt off the other day, and I realized I have a before body. <laughs> got after hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when somebody asked me a question, I was just like, no, why? Fuck it. <laughs> I just went all the way back. But I, I, I have put on a few pounds. I put on a few pounds. So I've had to shift my dating approach. I looked into becoming a sugar daddy. Any sugar daddies out there? <laughs> Somebody is laughing too nervously in this crowd. <laughs> Any sugar babies in this crowd? Okay, all right. Okay, Tim, change the subject here. No, but no, I, I try, but I don't have enough money. I'm not rich enough. So I'm like a fake sugar daddy. I'm like a stevia daddy. <laughs> I'm a sweet and low budget daddy. The woman's like, will you spoil me? I go, sure, I'll take you to the Nordstrom Rack Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> the Ross Bistro. <laughs> Get like a triple X Echo Unlimited shirt as well as a nice sensible BLT. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know, uh, it was mentioned earlier, but you're Muslim, right, Ella? Okay, so he mentioned he was Muslim. He mentioned, do you realize this weekend it's Ramadan, Passover, yeah. and Easter? Yep. Who just clapped? <laughs> Are you all three of those religions? She's like, I was once Christian, and then I became Muslim, and now I'm Jewish. 
I don't know why I'm doing with a gay Jewish person. I'm Jewish. It's a culture, it's not a religion. Ever been to a Seder? Anybody ever been to a Seder? Oh, are you Jewish, Adam? Uh, she is. Okay, you're Jewish. Betty. Becky. Becky. <laughs> Boy, Bay. <babe. laughs> I, I, I was, I, I dated a Jewish woman for about five years, and I went to a few satyrs. And um, they're fucking weird. I'm sorry, they are weird. Because it, 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 those three things, it's like, do you know, like, at a certain point in a satyr, you drink slaves' tears? And eat bread that's unleavened. It's like the most. It's the worst. It's like stuff you pack, you know, uh, uh, vases with. <laughs> and in, in Ramadan they fast, and in Easter they binge on chocolate. So it's like three groups of religions totally stressing out about different approaches to food. It's crazy. I kid uh, religious. Uh, um, holidays, things like that, because they're stupid. Now, I, I can say that because I grew up Catholic. I believe in inclusion. You guys believe in inclusion? Uh, whoever didn't say woo, fuck you, alright? No, we don't believe in inclusion. No, I, I, I do believe in inclusion, but someone said the term Latin X to me. You ever heard that term, sir? What's your name, sir? Phil. Phil. You know, I gotta tell you, of all the possible names, yeah. Phil would not have been the one I landed on with you. You got great hair, Phil. I know. Oh! Yeah. Fucking son of Phil! I got great hair, too. I, you know the question I had in my mind when I saw you, Phil? If we switched hair, who would look better? Still me. <laughs> Phil in the house! By the way, when I said, who's in favor of inclusion, Phil didn't say shit. <laughs> Shit. I heard Latin X, I was like, it's, it's, it's the dumbest term. Like, most people who are in that, they don't even like the term. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was like, cool, Latin X games. Awesome. <laughs> Skateboarder jumping. Oh, yeah. Mule racing. Let's see how many balloons we can get in Javier's ass. So, um, but you know what? That's where all the drugs come from. Drugs come from, the, no, well, apparently, at least a lot of them do. Right, Becky? Do you, um, well, down, yeah, that's kind of weird when I say the drugs come from down below. I don't even know what that means. Don't worry, Becky, I got you. So, um, because the fact is, uh, do you do drugs, Becky? Sometimes. Okay, cool. Adam, did you know that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you do drugs, Adam? Together. No! Adam and Becky and I are going to go up there. To, we'll, we'll be a stranger threesome than, uh, you know, Ramadan, Passover, and Easter. Um, <laughs> No, so I'm sober. I've been sober for 11 years. Almost 11 years. From crystal meth. We do three religions and start crystal meth. Yes. Seriously, like crystal meth is like the most non-notable drug to be sober from. Nobody really cares. You know what I mean? It's like the Ringo Starr of drugs. <laughs> I mean, literally, <laughs> no one cares. I actually got an Ivy League degree while I was racked up on crystal meth. Anybody get an Ivy League degree here? Phil? <laughs> Phil didn't. All right, well, I got one on you, Phil. So I got, a, I, got, I got an MBA while I was on crystal meth, which meant I was mostly being an asshole. Thank you. <laughs> See, what I did is I reinterpreted the meaning of MBA. <laughs> Sir, who is that on your shirt? Tupac. Tupac? Is he alive or dead? Is your, in your mind? He's dead? Yeah. Okay. Did you watch the last episode of Atlanta? I don't know why I'm getting all into this. With you. I just want to show that I'm culturally sensitive. I watch Atlanta. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I was talking about crystal meth. So that's what happens, actually. It burned a bunch of holes in my brain. <laughs> crystal meth. Was I lost my train of thought. That stuff happens. But, uh, you know, the thing is, is um, I used to get really angry at my crystal meth dealer because she was dishonest and unreliable. <laughs> <laughs> I swear she worked at Comcast before she became a <laughs> She's like in a distant addiction success specialist. Yes. 
Yeah. She would give me like a window when she was going to come by. Between like 3 p.m. today and 9 a.m. tomorrow. I'd be like tweaking out the whole time. <laughs> My nose used to bleed more than 11 from Stranger Things. <laughs> Anybody watch Euphoria here? Yeah. Who's your <laughs> kid? Okay, well then you're the only person who might get this. Um, I wish my dealer was Fesco. Yep, I got you. One minute. So I've got one minute. And um, well, what I do want everyone to know here is to, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for coming and supporting us because these comments today. I want to say one last quick thing, which is uh, my daughter, she recently lost uh, uh, her pet. Her pet went, um, it left the house. I mean, this sounds really weird. Why can't I just say that? She was living with someone who left, moved out and took her pet with it, right? Um, yeah, it's harsh. I, I actually, when I was a child, I had a mildly annoying pet named Peeve. <laughs> but I will share one pet peeve before I go, which is I hate trying to figure out a security word that no one will think of. But I finally got one. It's one that no man ever thinks of and no woman thinks any man knows about. The word is clitoris. <laughs> because for most of my life, I thought clitoris was an island in Greece. <laughs> but Adam and Becky, later on, I'll tell you why that's no longer true. <laughs> Thank you very much, I'm Tim Taylor.